Welcome to the show, everyone. I am so excited because it's Friday and it's already the end of July, which is amazing uh, in itself. We're going to be starting August here. I am live on Facebook, so I want to say hi to everybody out there. And I'm excited about bringing on my first guest, who is also my one of my sponsors. And I'm so excited to have Anna Von, and I call her Anna. She goes by Anna. Anna Von Strassenberg. She is the owner of L. Anna Van Strasseberg, CPA. Welcome to the show. First of all, we want to talk a little bit about you, okay? And then we're going to talk about something that you said today, which was do it yourself, and then what did you say? No. No. <laughs> so here, first tell everybody a little bit about yourself, what you do, and you're, you're all about integrity in accounting. Okay, thank you, Carol, for having me. And yes, I my motto is excellence and integrity in accounting because that is what I believe. I believe in taking the time to do it right, and I believe in being ethical. You know, there are times people like want to cheat, but that's not worth it. It'll come back to bite you. Well, the other thing that you are about you is not only for that part of it, because that's just, we don't even want to go there, right? Yeah. But what I know about you, first of all, you've got a sharp pencil, but you are there for your clients, not only just to, let's say, we're going to do your bookkeeping or we're going to be doing your accounting. No, this is something where you are with them hand in hand from the beginning because you were a, a, a pro a QuickBooks advisor. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something, every one of your clients that I know of, they work with that and you help them understand their numbers by helping them grow their business. It's not something where you just work with them once in a while. You really, really work hand in hand with them. Yes, I believe that, uh, you know, part of the function of a good accountant should be a teacher. You should teach your clients how to do it better. Teach them what the, the numbers mean. Teach them how to read a financial statement because some people know little parts of it, but I can show them how to do it better and how to get more information out of what's in their system. And we also are going to give away a, well, it's a QuickBooks Advisor tutorial. And what she's going to do is she actually can help anyone who doesn't have it get 30% off. There's the new one that you were talking about that you said that they have online. That's the one that they yeah, get the 30% off? Yeah, the, the, you get 30% off for the first year. It's a subscription-based. But a lot of people are moving towards that these days because, you know, people are everywhere. They're working from home. They're working at the office. They meet with clients. They're on the road. And so the QuickBooks Online, QBO they call it, you know, is becoming very, very popular. I'm, I'm still a big fan of the desktop version, and that, that comes with a discount, too. I think that might be, I'm not positive. I haven't checked on it in a while. I think it's about 20 percent discount on the purchase that one you purchase and keep for a few years until you need to upgrade so but you let me tell you I love to say this if you think you know how to use QuickBooks you don't you, you really don't because there's a way of using it and that is what you teach everyone and we have our lines open here for everyone to get entered in to win this it is a and a, a tutorial for it you also get a uh, a consultation so you're going to learn a little bit more about your business too and how she can help with that our number here is 602-277-5369 toll free it's 1-866-536-1100 i know that it's friday <laughs> but you know what it is time, you know, when Friday comes along, a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's the end of the week. But you know, we really need to gear up and really think it's the summertime. We've got people that have been, you know, a little bit slower. What a great time to learn, but now. Yes, yes. The, the month is coming to an end and we're coming up on August. And lo and behold, September will be right on its heels with the deadline September 15th for businesses and October 15th for individuals that comes up fast that's so. for anyone that got extensions right yes for anybody right? that got extensions so you know what you know and and a lot of people don't do their taxes they don't do them right away they really wait they get that extension and they put them in uh you know the side yeah. and then that date comes when they're like oh my god i guess i should probably get this done right but you also say don't do it yourself well you know what you know you don't go 
you don't fix your own car these days. Most people go to a mechanic. I mean, I'm sure there's people that have older cars that work on them themselves, but the newer cars, my goodness, you need computer diagnostic equipment to work on them. Um, most people don't cut their own hair, you know, and most people don't handle their own real estate purchases. So you hire professionals for all these things and you're a professional in whatever it is you do. But it's important to use a professional for your taxes. We spend a lot of time learning about it and I'll tell you, I'm constantly learning. And I don't see how somebody could do it on their own. And they're relying on software without knowing what it's really doing. A lot of people go up online and they get all that software there and they try and do it themselves. You've had people that you talk about here right on the air that they try and do it and they've done it and then you saw where they actually could have uh, oh, yeah. gotten money back or they make they make mistakes. I know. I've had a few friends that have had me look at their, their um, TurboTax or whatever you know software they use and they had me look at their tax return and even people who are knowledgeable in accounting, but maybe not in taxes. Well, I also and want to say this. I've found mistakes in almost every single one that I've looked at. Actually, I have found it. I have to say, every one I've ever looked at, I've always found mistakes. And I've found people money. Because they, they don't know, you know, they're following the prompts from the software but they don't know what it means. A lot of people also think that when you're hiring a CPA that you need to have a lot of money or that you need to have a bigger business, and that is not the case. No, I work with uh, smaller people and, and you know, individuals and businesses alike and small businesses. I, I love to have them because I can teach them how to look at their, uh, their information and help them grow their business. And uh, she's all about teaching you, and she's all about integrity and excellence in accounting. And she is. I love her. Her phone number to call direct, it's 480-964-4030. That's 480-964-4030. You can check her out on her website, which is uh, Arizona CPAs with an S dot com. She does free consultations. She works nationwide. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau and she's offering for everyone that calls in and I'm going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show. It is a QuickBooks tutorial that she's going to give you along with a consultation and you know what? She's giving you 30% off of the online version which everybody's going off so she's going to help you with that going on I should say and everybody uh, that she's doing uh, offering a 30% off with that. So our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Okay, let, before we go to a break, because I know I, I just keep on going here, right? <laughs> um, one thing that you wanted to talk a little bit about was life-changing events. Well, if you're coming up on a life-changing event like getting married, getting divorced, even if you, you know, all of a sudden have some different issues. Are you, you doing a rental property? We'll talk about that more after the break. But there's a lot of things you should make an appointment with a CPA to talk about because you want to handle these things correctly. Absolutely. Maybe you've had a death in the family. Maybe you just got married and you've got an, a business or even somebody that you got divorced. There's a big one right there if you oh, own a yeah. business. Yeah. And if you've gotten separated, there's rules regarding being separated that are very, very important to know so that you can you know protect yourself and do it right a lot of people don't most people don't even know that there are rules and regulations to all sorts of things and that's why you want to call Anna because one thing I know about Anna if she doesn't know it she looks it up, she will find it out. She's all about researching, making sure that her clients are educated, making sure that she holds your hand and teaches you how to do what she does to help you grow your business and understand it. You can call her direct. It's 480-964-4030. That's 480-964-4030. Her website is Arizona CPAs with an S.com. Call in here. Get that quick. QuickBooks tutorial, 30% off. Our number here is 602-277-5369.
We're going to keep on going in okay. here. Nice okay. so far. Yeah. So um, I really, one thing that I never really realized that when somebody gets separated, that there's rules for that too. In well, your, in, in, in a CDs? lot of times people want to file married filing separately, but Arizona is a community property state. And so if you're maybe getting separated, but sometimes people still live together when they get legally separated, well, that can cause problems because you end up having to split your income 50-50 for part of the year until you actually get separated. Or, you know, so it's very important to meet with me to find out what to do. How do you handle that? Because, you know, there's so many things that you're supposed to do you know, having the two different, uh, you know, bank accounts and this and yeah. that, it must get very hairy, to say yeah. the least. It helps to have a written document, because I do know some clients who um, move from a non-community property state who are who do married filing separately for a reason. You know, maybe the spouse, when, before they got married, he had some tax liability, or maybe the spouse isn't the best at filing their taxes on time. I've come across situations like that, and that's when married filing separately is good. Most of the time, it's bad. I would you, say you lose a lot of you lose a lot of deductions by doing that. And talking about bad, <laughs> one of the things that you said today when you came on was that you wanted to say do it yourself, and the answer is no, no, absolutely not. You know, people who are do it yourselfers on all kinds of things. They build their own little you know, cabins in the woods, or they build a, you know, project, maybe they make a table or something, but there's some things you just don't want to do it yourself. Right, I you agree know? 100%. Yeah. Uh, most people, when they're, when they, when you work with them, and they start working with you, what does it look like? You've never I've really asked you that before. You know, I know you have a free consultation. You sit down and you find out a little bit about well, I them. do. I ask my clients to bring in their past two years tax returns and the current data, but I meet with them and discuss with them, you know, what their their life is like, what their issues are. If they have a business, I ask them, what, what do you exactly do? I want to learn about them and I sit with them and talk with them, kind of just like having a conversation. Because you know what, the more relaxed the person is on the other side of that desk, the more they tell me, and sometimes they tell me things that maybe they don't think is a tax issue. I and, love that about you. And so when I get to know them, I find out things and I say, oh, well, I have a follow-up question. You know, you know, you said you were in the hospital. How much did you pay? <laughs> you know, did you have big bills or did your insurance cover it? And so that's why you really, really do like to get to know them like oh, that I on do. a personal level. I do. Okay, here we go. Welcome back, everyone. We're talking with Anna von Strassenberg. She's the owner of L. Anna von Strassenberg. CPA and Anna works with people nationwide. She's also a, a, a QuickBooks Pro advisor and that she likes to help people really understand it. If you think you do, you don't because she can help you really understand it and learn how to use it so that it makes you earn money, right? And, right. and save you money in certain areas, but grow your business. That's what you're all about. But it's not just being a CPA, it's actually being uh, a, a well, a, a teacher to them, an educator to them. So, and you help them along with them. You're part of their team. Oh yes, I consider myself a part of their team, and I get to know my clients on all different levels. Just I learn about their business, but you know, a lot of, most of my business clients, I also do their individual returns, and so I get to know what's going on with them and their family. And um, I just talked to a client recently that ended up after a chat with her found out she had some big medical deductions because for health purposes they had to do mold remediation and she got very very sick and and so we had a long chat about what what qualified and what didn't qualify see and that's what she did she said at the break we were talking on facebook and she said you said 
that uh, when you sit down with somebody, when they're sitting across the table with you and you just have a conversation with them, the more relaxed they are, the more they learn, you learn about them, and all of a sudden you have more questions to ask. Yes, I, it's the funniest thing. People will not realize that certain things are deductible or they, they don't think they'll have enough to make a deduction. And then when I start chatting with them, I say, oh, really? Well, please tell me more about that. And so then I find out things where I can help them. And I, I think it's good to be a relaxed person on the other side of that desk because they come in being very intimidated and I try to put them at ease. And you become family. Oh, yes. You've had customers that are your clients for years. Yes, I've watched their kids grow up. Now, you can call her direct at 480 964 for 4030. You can also check them out on her website, which is Arizona CPAs with an S.com. Her phone number again, 480-964-4030. She always does free consultations. She works nationwide. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau. Uh, and most importantly, she's going to help you grow your business. And one of the things that she likes to do is uh, give you a quick books tutorial. You've been doing that now, uh, that you're a, pro, a, a QuickBook Pro advisor now for over 17 years. Actually about 19, oh, wow. going on 19 I write years that. now. See, after you've been I've, working with a I've client a long time. a couple time. years, yeah. It's uh, going on 19 years. Plus, I started using QuickBooks even before that when it was pretty brand new when I first started using it. And right now, everybody's, a lot of people are going uh, online with it. Uh, most people probably have it on their desktop and online, but a lot of people like that. Uh, on well, you kind of have to pick and choose. Oh, you, can only, you can't have both? Well, it's expensive to have both, but no, you would either run the QuickBooks on online or the QuickBooks for desktop. And you offer 30% off for the QuickBooks um, online for people out there that you could listening um, and you're getting a, a tutorial that goes along with a consultation. Our number here, and I'm letting everyone call throughout the rest of the show, is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Call in here for this. Let me just say this again. You know, at the summertime, sometimes we get a little bit kind of kicked back, laid back, right? Mm -hmm. But what a great time. We talked about August is right here. We Our, our businesses, are, are we're going to turn things around, uh, make them, uh, earning more money. And you said that right around the corner, your bit, your, if you've gotten extensions, you need to Those get them extensions done. extensions are too soon. So I encourage people to get in. If you don't have a CPA, this might be a good time to contact one. So call her. It's 480-964-4030. That's 480-964-4030. Uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about people that have rental property losses that you wanted to kind of bring that up to people. Well, I was talking about all kinds of life-changing events today. And one of the things a lot of people start doing is um, they may decide to move out of their home or their condo to a better place, but they want to rent out their old one. Well, you know what? There's caveats with that. And if you make too much money, yes, you get the rental losses, but you don't get to deduct them until you sell the property or until you make less income. Because some people make more than $100,000, and it, it is for both married, filing, joint, and single. That's one of the places the tax law is not quite fair. And it starts phasing out at $100,000, completely phased out by $150,000. Wow. So, but you still have those losses for future use. So they carry over. And I've had clients pile up like $100,000 of losses over the years because you get to take, uh, you know, depreciation on that property and that, uh, you know, goes. It's good to know somebody like you, who is, you are constantly, I mean, you eat, sleep, and drink numbers. I'm telling you, I know you very well now, and uh, you really do. And not only that, you, you, well, there's just some people like, and a CPA should, they just love to learn more and more and more. And especially now, you just said, you just said today, you found out so much information and the more that you can find out, the more that you share with your clients. Oh, yeah. And and I'd like to share a little tip I learned today, which just 
surprise me is the IRS actually has a YouTube channel. Which I think is hysterical. I, I, I get, you even found it. Yeah, well, I get newsletters from the IRS. I get like four or five a day. Uh, I get tons of newsletters on taxes. So, yes, I eat sleeping because the first thing I do in the morning is I check my email, and there's a number of newsletters I get from everything from the AICPA, the Thomson Reuters. I get all these things. They're tax information. And the last thing I do before I go to bed is check my emails again. So it's first and last and during the day. Um, and, you know, actually I get about 100 emails a day and a lot of them are newsletters. So I'm always getting information. Plus I belong to a tax listserv from the Arizona Society of CPAs. That's more information. You know, recently, too, you've been nominated. Uh, not, you maybe didn't win, but you got nominated for something recently from the Better Business Bureau. Oh, yeah, the um, Torch Award for Ethics. Yeah. I got nominated. I'm, I'm so surprised. Yes, and, and so since I'm relatively new, because I do it on your prior year, you know, I didn't. I didn't qualify. I didn't become a finalist. That's okay. But, but that's you got okay. Nominated. I got nominated, which I think is a good thing. Absolutely. And hopefully, going forward, I can, uh, you know, maybe get nominated again and win that award. Now, on your uh, when you were up on the uh, IRS uh, YouTube, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine what that was. I'm sure it was interesting to you. What was it like? Well, it was a. It was. They didn't have any video. It was just audio. Oh gosh! Of um, course. Of course. Well, they yeah. wouldn't want you to but see what's going on in the about, IRS. Well, it, that's what kind of gave me my subject today because they talked about if you get married, you know, realize that there's, you know, you're studying so into a new on there. tax situation and that you need to look at your withholding because if you're both withholding, you might not be withholding enough or. You might be withholding too much, and you know the way IRS does have tutorials and stuff. But you know you're better off going to a professional than trying to figure it out yourself. Well, you know we say that a lot with lots of different things, and that's the first thing that you said today. Do it yourself? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Don't do it yourself. So many times she said, and every single one of your friends that brought you their tax return, why would they do it? They're your friends, and they ask you to do it afterwards. Well, sometimes they pay me a little bit. But well, whatever, they, I'm they not worried about that. Or something. But why is it but that they, they would even they, do that? Would well, you just have because they're not sure. <laughs> and darn, if I didn't find a mistake in every single person's thing where they could, I could show them, hey, no. You can't take that deduction. You're not entitled to it. But yes, you can take this deduction. And you know what? I ended up saving them money now, every time. You can call her direct. Her phone number is 480 964 4030. That's 480 964 4030. Check her out on her website. Uh, it is Arizona CPAs with an S.com. She works nationwide. She does free consultations. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau. She's all about excellence and integrity, and she is all about integrity in accounting. And also, we've got our lines open here, and I'm going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show. Uh, get the QuickBooks tutorial for from her, you know, she's going to help you really understand your business, know your numbers. You are going to turn it around, double your business this year with Anna. <laughs> That's a good one right there, Anna. Uh, and you're going to get the QuickBooks uh, Pro Advisor uh, tutorial from her, the online version at 30% off. If you don't have it, if you don't, if you think you know how to use it, you don't. Our number here, 602-277-5369.